my loves welcome back to my channel in today's video guys I'm not gonna be giving you tips instead I'm going to be busting some of those skincare myths or let's say some wrong information that has been passed on directly or indirectly on the interweb so let's bust some myths shall we so yeah before we get into this video if this is the very first time you're seeing this face hello i am jovita and i would love it if you click that red subscribe button just underneath this video and now with that being out of the way let's get started i have a feeling that i have lipstick on my teeth as usual i have this bunny teeth guys it's just out like collecting lipstick any which ways let's start with myth number one this is a painful one okay i wish this myth was not a myth but the myth is that anti-aging products are going to reverse signs of aging or completely remove and wipe out wrinkles. In fact, there are so many ads on television or these days on YouTube, there are so many ads that says erases wrinkles. You know, it doesn't like improve signs of aging. Like what is improving signs of aging? Most of the time, my dear friends, signs of aging is on your back. Peet ka dard, good no ka dard. <laughs> How are you going to erase that with the cream? Okay, I completely sidetrack. No, 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 let's come back. What I'm trying to say is using an anti-aging routine is very, very important. I use one. That's how you keep your skin soft and smooth and plump. But no matter what skincare you use, it's not going to wipe off wrinkles. Wrinkles are deep set. You know, I've said this many times on my channel. Wrinkles are nothing to be ashamed of. It's also a message I'm telling myself. It is a sign that you've lived your life. It's a sign that you frowned and it's a sign that you smiled. Like if you didn't have an eventful life, you wouldn't have to, you know, make these expressions and have these wrinkles. So one, we need to collectively as a world, like love to... You know, start like, I don't know, shaming aging. I don't know. Anyways, again, I digress. Guys, what does an anti-aging product do? It actually prevents premature aging. So it is going to give you the ceramides. It's going to boost the production of those, you know, happy cells in your skin, the plumpness, the hydration, uh, so that it can delay signs of aging. And it can also... Uh, improve like the look of your skin the texture of your skin like the pores can appear smaller the, the dark spots can appear smaller the wrinkles you know if you really if you have deep wrinkles like the ones I have on my neck if you really want to get this removed you have to inject them with fillers a little bit of retinol and a little bit of I don't know ceramides is not going to erase this but it can make it look plumper it can reduce the discoloration it can make it look better but nothing is going to erase wrinkles sadly that's myth number one myth number two is that people with oily skin do not need skin care <gasps> so many 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 times i feel like we should rebrand this channel to jovi roasting her friends all of this comes from my friends okay i watch my friends and i'm like guys i've been doing youtube and beauty uh, youtube videos for 10 years you guys have never watched like have you ever like just like a passing time pass huh have you ever watched my videos so i have my um, friends who have oily skin and they say i don't need to apply anything i already have oily skin <clears throat> let me let please let me correct you we need to apply a light gel based moisturizer or at least a serum even if you have oily skin if you do not apply anything guys there is nothing to protect your skin and to calm it down if you you know do not apply a moisturizer your skin is going to produce more oils it's going to go haphazard if you have oily skin so an uh, a gel based moisturizer with niacinamide is going to kind of calm your skin down and you know regulate the sebum production of your skin so go for a moisturizer that's gel based that has uh, ingredients like zinc and niacinamide for your poor health and that will actually make your skin a lot more balanced and healthy and nourished than completely leaving your skin as it is just because you have oily skin <sighs> yeah so please don't don't not do skincare because you have oily skin okay myth number three only teenagers have acne now how i wish that this was true it is not true guys acne can be caused by many many factors it can be because of pollution stress your hormones your aging hormones we still produce hormones like hormonal production doesn't end at 19 you know what i'm saying so yes the most common time to get um acne is your teenage years but you can also get acne like really bad acne in your 20s 30s 40s sometimes even if 
50s and 60s that's not a problem you can incorporate a salicylic acid into your routine you can check your hormones if you feel like your you know acne is really flaring up you can make sure you don't have dandruff dandruff is something that really causes acne you could be allergic to certain food or certain products that you're applying on your skin even soaps face washes can cause acne you know don't write off any of those uh, reasoning and uh, finally if nothing works please take yourself to a dermatologist uh, a lot of the time you bank on youtubers for skincare information you need to know that we are skincare enthusiasts i know that i really really research on whatever i talk about but there are also people just giving information with no scientific backing or knowledge here on internet so it's kind of scary to take um, advice from anyone you know you need to have some like you need to know where the information is coming from so anyways if you suffer from acne uh, beyond your teenagers don't worry it's a myth that you know only teenagers don't don't worry uh, there are solutions salicylic acid is my personal favorite retinols work really really well and also take care of the other few tidbits and you will have clear skin don't you worry darling myth number four is that you need to wear too many layers of skincare to have a proper skincare routine well hold up okay it is the dead beat of summer at least here in south india it is too hot for me to wear like a four step five step ten step skincare routine i cannot do it you can definitely have a one step routine you guys and that one step can come from a nice sunscreen okay a lot of the times for me like when it is so hot i do not want to wear a serum and then a moisturizer and then a sunscreen i feel really heavy i feel like my pores are clogged i feel like it's making me greasy and just not comfortable all of that skincare actually makes me sweat but what if you completely minimize the use of you know obsessive layering what if you just minimize it to one step you can actually use a sunscreen like the doctor shed ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen guys it's got one percent ceramide one percent hyaluronic acid and two percent vitamin c so you've got your actives to brighten your skin to remove the spots and hyperpigmentation with two percent vitamin c it's not the strongest if you want you can definitely add a 10 to 20 percent vitamin c before that because vitamin c's are anyways light and watery and it absorbs into your skin it doesn't make you sweat most of the formulations and then you can step it up with this one product you can actually skip out on a moisturizer while using this amazing brilliant sunscreen because it has that one percent ceramide to you know improve the health of your skin barrier and to add that nutrition ceramides are amazing for our skin we we have ceramides in our skin which depletes as we age and it also has that one percent hyaluronic acid that retains and locks in the moisture on the skin even during summer months without making you feel greasy oh i love love this this concoction it's a perfect smooth silky texture that you can apply on your face and you know walk out this is it like i like to apply a little bit of serum especially when my skin is acting up um if i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation because of sun exposure i apply niacinamide or vitamin c or whatever it is that you like you know sometimes i just have my niacinamide i'm loving saika during uh, summer months and monsoon months i've said this many times saika is my go to uh, serum during these hot you know humid sweaty months i love that so i apply that and then i apply this sunscreen the moisturizer and the spf part is done sun protection and hydration is done with this one step routine oh my god how simple is that so this contains spf of 50 pa plus 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 it is anti-pollution and anti-visible light this is a hybrid formula my favorite kind of formula it's got chemical filters and physical fil filters and you can get an additional discount if you use the code jovita on dr shed's website okay you can't like site wide whatever you want to buy all of their sunscreens amazing in fact if you have extra extra oily skin and you want a mattifying sunscreen they've got one for that too but uh, for me i just love this this also works as a beautiful primer during the day because of that nice slip and hydration and uh, there is an amazing butter paper test that you can do if you have 
a bunch of sunscreens and also the ceramide and vitamin C sunscreen at hand with a butter paper. You apply a dash of all of your favorite sunscreens on the butter paper, leave it on for one hour and come back and check how much oil has seeped out on all the different sunscreens. I'm telling you that the Dr. Shetz one will have the least amount of oil in it. You know, it's just mind blowing how hydrating this is, but it's not oily. It's not greasy at all. So yeah. Let's move on to myth number five. Staying hydrated will give you clear skin. Now this, I feel like I'm going against my own advice. You need to stay hydrated. I'm not saying you do not have to grasp what I'm saying. But water is not that one magical product will, which will clear you of all your life problems. You know, you cannot just drink water and expect life to like, just like, oh, I'm okay now. <laughs> Everything is okay, hunky dory. No, 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 no. So you still have to have your skincare routine, and you still need to apply your sunscreen. You still need to apply your treatments if you have certain specific skin concerns. Uh, you need to hydrate from within. Uh, you must for the proper functioning of your body. You need to hydrate your skin from within as well. But don't expect that magical result from water. I, I feel like you know because we make a lot of skincare tips video. Most of the time, most of the time, I would have a tip saying drink water, which is very, very important for plump skin, glowy skin, all of that. <laughs> but then um, you would also expect just drinking water to give you that magically glowing skin, you know. Really, really great skin also comes from good genetics, you know, also comes from which climate. Like I've noticed every time I travel to uh, US during winters or Europe during winters, my skin is just much, much better, even though I'm traveling, even though I'm applying makeup every day. Um, it's just the climate also, you know, there are so many factors that decides how good or bad your skin is. So don't put all of that burden on that poor glass of water, nor should you stop drinking water. We need the water, but just like, you know, that unrealistic expectation on that poor glass of water. Let's take that away. Myth number seven is that skincare is a girl's thing. Like, hello, Mr. Like, excuse me, sir, I see all of these boyfriends and these husbands <laughs> steal little serums and steal little creams and they love it when the wives or the girlfriends do it for them. But when the boys are sitting, it's like, oh, skincare, I don't do it. It's a her thing. It's a she thing. Well, all of us like to have good skin at the end of the day, right? Like, so why shame? Why shame on that skincare game? Why? So skincare is an everybody thing. Skincare should be an everybody thing. Everybody likes to have that even flawless skin men macho macho men included so if you want that flawless skin you guys follow along also i have a lot of my guy friends a lot of my guy friends coming and asking me jovi what should i do you know um, recommend something for us men see the skin is the same you know there is so much misconception that you know we need a separate bunch of skincare routines or products or things that a man can apply it's the same the skin is the same organ for men and women okay skin is not gender biased at all <laughs> so whatever uh, information whatever tips and whatever products that I'm recommending here on this channel it's gender neutral okay a guy can use it a girl can use it all the products I'm talking about all the tips I'm talking about yeah yeah myth number eight is that regular facials is a must once you turn 30 madam madam hold up sit down <laughs> look facials are great okay it's very relaxing especially if you go to a good salon i don't do facials because i've noticed every time i've done a facial i've gotten pimples and ain't nobody got the time to sit and heal and uh, yeah take care of a pimple no nope, i already get enough of those okay so but if you love facials, go for it. That's great. There are clinics that offers you like clinical grade, amazing facials now. Get it. Amazing. But facials are not a must have. You know, I, the last time I got a facial was before I got, I wanted to say first married. <laughs> I've not been second married, guys, please. No, I haven't. But anyways, before, the, the, back in the eons, before I got married was the last time I got a facial, which was a long, long time ago. And my skin is doing great. I think I've kind of, the anti-aging game is going okay. So you don't really, it's not a must-have. You can if you want to, but it's not really a must-have. You feeling me? You feeling me? So there you have it, guys. Eight skincare myths that I wanted to buy bust okay now tell me what are the misconceptions 
with respect to skin care or beauty in general that you are tired of hearing let me know down in the comment section below i love you so much thank you for watching this video if you found this helpful or entertaining click that thumbs up button if you didn't like this video but if you didn't like this video, thumbs down that vid, thumbs down the video as well. I mean, you, you be honest, boo. Be honest with me. I love it. Okay. So I am signing off. I love you so much. Mwah. I should leave some skincare recommendations of the things that I told you down in the description bar below. If I don't, remind me in the comments. Okay. I love you.